Fight! What's up, my beautiful people? Welcome back to another More Combat episode. I'm Heroes Crowdsting, and we're here with the homie Grotesque God. Hey, what's up, guys? Yeah, guys, this is uh, also More Combat History, and he has a page on Instagram. Definitely go check that out, give him a follow, and um, tell him why you're there. So, we are here to talk about Mortal Combat 11 and our thoughts on uh, the stress test beta that just came out uh, this past weekend. So, man, dude, um, how was the online, by the way? First of all, I just, the online was amazing. I, I mentioned this <clears throat> on my Mortal Kombat History page, how there was like a lot of times where I completely forgot that I was playing online because it just felt that perfect. Every now and then I ran into a match, I guess because people had bad connections and it would lag a little bit, but majority of all the matches I was on, it was just perfect. Like I didn't have any issues, like compared to all the past NRS titles, the online was just amazing. And I think that's what this whole stress test was just about, was to test the actual online connection. And so far, you know, not just me, but all the other reviews I've seen so far, everyone's just happy with it. It's it's amazing. It is, man. Like, I played through it, you know, myself too, getting the code, and man, dude, it, it was flawless, man. I've only ever encountered one small issue after every 20 matches, 25 matches, and even then, it wasn't like to where it lagged and there was button input delays like it just felt like playing right at home it did and that's what i'm most excited for i don't like around my area i don't have a lot of people that play mk so playing online with like a good netcode like that is going to benefit me very well i mean just because it's going to play exactly like offline from what i see already yeah same dude like especially with us two being like players that go for like the pro status kind of so we like to go online and practice and train and figure shit out against people and it's easier to do that when there isn't any lag or input delays and man dude it proved to be really really good this past weekend yeah and i think i had this discussion with you a few days ago or just recently how i wasn't i was like yeah it's amazing it's really good but how different is it from the offline and then you know nrs released the tower on the last day and it felt the exact same way i was like okay yeah the internet's perfect like the online is it's it's flawless like you said Yes, man, it is, man. So switching between online and classic towers, it felt really, really good. But um, yeah, as... you can feel a difference, and like not just the NRS titles, but I play a lot of fighting games, and so far this has got to be the best one of all the fighting games, as far as I can tell. Yo, that is the, the, that is just phenomenal. Yeah, that is a really good point, dude. Um, yeah, because I play yeah fighting games like Tekken, you know, online kind of choppy sometimes, and then Street Fighter or even uh, Smash Ultimate when I play on the Switch, like choppy online mm -hmm. not as good as local but man dude uh with this game it pretty much nails like kind of like the local kind of style you know where there's no lag and no shit like that it's beautiful yeah it it, it has me like even more excited for just just because of the online play mm -hmm. so yeah definitely definitely had a lot of fun playing it but what what's really interesting is that the gameplay is really really different oh yeah i don't even know where to start on that like it's <laughs> <laughs> yeah, well, the first well, the first thing is, man, it it feels slower than MKX. It is a very, I mean, it's quick, but it's compared to the past MK like MK9 and MKX, it is a lot more slower paced. It's very patient, and I think you said it best the other day. You said, "Man, this game is like now it's like a game of chess." I was like, yeah, it's actually true. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yeah, it's like a lot of strategic thinking. You gotta figure out where you want to keep the space. Like, it's like it's a very heavily grounded footsies kind of game. Like we gotta make sure you figure out when to attack, how to attack, and that's another thing too with these meters. It kind of shows you how to be defensive on that side while also being offensive. And man, dude, like it adds a lot of depth to like the fighting that's in it instead of being all crazy rush down bullshit like last uh, MKX, which was fine. MKX yeah. was fine being a rush down kind of title but this totally separates that gameplay wise yeah the way how the characters move you know you got a faster walk speed but as far as like the mechanics go as fighting it is a lot slower paced and mm. to me that's a lot better i mean because rush downs and stuff like that like an mkx it gets a little annoying after a while <laughs> yeah and, and hectic too man like ugh. yeah I think that was one of my most complaints like about MKX was just hold the rush down 50-50 in your face type of deal. And you know that stuff is fun, but you know it's good to see a change once in a while. One thing about the, the stress test, a lot of people are like already freaking out about certain characters and this was just for the stress test online thing. I'm sure with this beta that's coming out on March 28th is when we'll be able to voice 
our opinions on the characters. A lot of characters, I mean, these, not a lot, I say a lot, but three, <laughs> the three characters that <laughs> yeah. Scorpion, Scarlet, and Baraka, you know, each one already had complaints from what I've seen. You know, Scorpion with his teleport and his, like, mix-ups and stuff, and then you have Baraka on his damage, and Scarlet on her zoning, but then again, you know, you have only three characters. They haven't exactly. released the full roster yet. So, you know, there's probably characters that can counter that, but also you have the beta coming out uh, to where we're able to voice our opinions and go, hey, this seems a little too broken or fucked up, you know? <laughs> yeah, ex exactly. That's like, you gotta, like, give it some time, man. Like, of course, it's gonna be one character's gonna suck more than the other, and which is fine because it's just the three characters, but once we get characters, like, hopefully with Cabal or maybe uh, Johnny Cage or Sub-Zero Man, like, we'll be able to explore more of our options and figure out, you know, if there are more characters that can find ways around of the teleporting and the zoning and shit like that, but what sucks is, what's, yeah. crazy, what's crazy, though, is that it doesn't feel casual-friendly. Like, of course, like how I said, st strategic and then plays just like chess that's not something casual players would, would find or fun or to be good at in my opinion yeah that is that is a big difference in this game it, it's not as casual friendly as the rest of these past two games um i mean including injustice as well but like the new defense stuff they have going on with the rolling out and the air escape and the wake up rolls and stuff like that the thing is the, and the, especially the flawless block like i myself Someone who plays kind of competitively and has been playing Zian for a long time. It took me a good while to learn that flawless block. I probably didn't figure that out to the last day. It was the last few hours of the stress test, so I finally a little, kind of got it down. Stuff like that, you really have to time it. Timing is very, very important yeah, now for some of these new features. Yeah, it's really tough, man. Like, I barely got the air escape down uh, when uh, G-God was telling me on stream, and like, I was getting juggle combo and out of nowhere I was like oh wait down RT and then boom I, I was able to do it and it took a lot of you know thinking to pull it off and man it's, it's really crazy like I'm even myself for being kind of like competitive when NKX was out like in this one it was really tough for me to pull off some of those uh, defense metered uh, moves because it's just like fuck man like you know you really need the timing you really need the patience and I think what that's what kind of sucks about the online stress test beta, which which you know we know is for online, but I kind of like wish there was a practice mode that was open for us to practice this before we went online and shit. And yeah, that, that's I had to keep telling myself that because I was in these matches. I'm getting mad because I can't figure things out. It's like this is for online. The beta test is for gameplay and stuff. I'm sure. <laughs> so yeah, yeah. I was slowly <laughs> learning, but at the same time, it's a brand new way of playing the game now because, like I said, everything's a lot of stuff has changed since MKX and MK9. Oh, yeah, MKX yes. and MK9 have sort of little similarities. Now we got MK11, where it's it's a completely different game, but it has changed a lot for the better, I shall say. But yes, it has, and honestly, I welcome it. I mean, even though um, they do limit the freedom to actually kind of do shit, like there's not a lot of cool, crazy combos we can pull off, and if we do, it's just the same one or two combos that we find out. But other than that, man, like it, it does make it feel like its own Mortal Kombat game instead of being kind of like a repeat from M MKX. And like these games uh, too, man, like I've like me and Grotesque God, we've learned to adapt to every game that's come out. And even if it was different, like kind of like the 3D era games like Deadly Alliance and Deception and Armageddon all play differently from the classics. But you know what? We found ways to get good at them and it's been like that for a while. So we can do the same for MK11. That's for sure. Yeah, and, and the thing is, this one's going to take some time, and I hope people, I hope, like, the casual players won't shy away from it. Yeah, once, be discouraged. You know, because of this news. Yeah, I mean, it's just, it's a lot of difference. It's going to take time to get used to. Mm -hmm. But it's more combat, so I'm sure it's still going to draw a lot of casual players to it. So. Oh, oh, and it will, it will. It's got the story mode, it's got the stages, all the characters to try out. It's got, you know, it's got some content, you know, customization too. So even if it does kind of discourage them to play online, I mean, there's still shit for them there to explore. So it's pretty good. Yeah, and and I'm not, and like I said, it is a little more difficult now. I mean, like I said, it's real more strategic and, you know, timing is really important but that's what's making this game a lot more interesting and fun is having you actually you know focus like be more involved in it and learn it and that's yeah. basically what i was doing these past three days just learning that game it's, it's fun so far i enjoy it a lot see even even with me losing in my online matches it was, it was just fun because i was learning shit and figuring stuff out and learning the characters and what ways i can not make sure i lose too much in 
it, when I when the game comes out. Like, it, I don't know, it just losing in the MKX was kind of like, ugh, it irritated me. It's like, fuck, you know, the rushdown shit. But like, in this one, I can actually say that and be like, yep, I'm losing, but yeah, I'm having a good time. And it's, it's, it's you know, when you when you can say that in a, in a fighting game, that's when you know you have something special. And that's MK11. Exactly, exactly. I had, man, I, I put hours just in these three days and it's because it was just so much fun. Just like like I said, the new mechanics, new play style, it's slower pace, more neutral heavy. Because of that, it just made it a lot more fun. You're not just sitting there getting rushed down and 50-50 all in your face and kind of thing. It gives you more little advantage to kind of just, like I said, it's like a game of chess, you know what I'm saying? It's mm -hmm. Yeah, you gotta like deep. Trying to find you. your, yeah, try to find your opening, you know, just trying to get in. Hell yeah, dude, it gives like players uh, a chance to kind of like recover and be like, okay, okay, I have time to breathe. Let me see what else I can do to not let it happen again, you know? Yeah, and the new defense thing, it's its different, but I, I, I enjoy it a lot better than the meter systems in MKX and MK9. Uh -huh. Yes, hell yeah, man. Yeah. Oh, um, the customizations, man. Beautiful, man. Oh, dude. Oh, man. And we only got like a little bit of it. I was like doing all the customizations with the variations. I was like, man, dude. It just got me excited to see what else they had to offer. And we only got a little bit of it, but I had so much fun like customizing my variation and just my character itself. I'm so glad they added that. Like, a lot of people want to, you know, create your own character from back from, was it like Armageddon, right? That was the first time we saw it. Yes. Yeah, and I was like, man, dude, screw that, dude. Because create your own, uh, customizing your character in this MK11 game was just so much fun. And it's something that like we've been wanting for as fans for a long time man and we we're finally getting it in mk11 man yeah you get to make your character your very your very own you know what i'm saying yes the God colors and the moves that you want that like fits best for your play style and just, you know the introductions the outros yeah dude that's another thing too like when we got to pick out our intros and outros too and kind of like see that for ourselves and what it looks like the menu i was like yes yeah, so far, that, that new addition they've added, so far, I, I'm enjoying it a lot. And that's also going to be a big hit in this game, I'm pretty sure. For sure, man. And it makes, like, um, matches online feel totally different every time you go on. Always going to be a different intro or outro or costume color change, whatever, man. It's going to feel fresh every time you get into these matches. And that's, what, that's the beauty of these customized options, man. Yeah, and I'll tell you this already. I've been so entertained in the by the people I've ran into just because of their variation names. Like, <laughs> <laughs> yes, that too, man. Customizing variations, but also give it a name too, man. Like, come up with a <laughs> silly ass name, man. <laughs> it's That's been awesome. one of my favorite parts of the game already. As as silly and like random as that sounds, like I I <laughs> match up with certain people as their variation variation names. And I just die. <laughs> <laughs> I know, man. They get really creative, like Barack of my, my, oh, my Obama or something like that. <laughs> 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 oh my Obama, there we go, right? <laughs> yeah. Oh man, I, I dude. Ran into one, uh, I ran into a Baraka that said Melina boned me. <laughs> <laughs> Jeez, man. Like, honestly, you know what, dude? That's one of the things I, I can't wait to uh, go online for, man. Just to see the funny variation names, man. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, but man. What I'm still, what I'm still wondering, you know, while we're on the subject of the variations, what I'm still curious of what's actually going to be tournament legal or as also ranked match legal, if you know what I'm saying. Yeah, man, that's a really good question. Um, I'm not sure. How did Injustice 2 do it? Was it just base? Uh, you, Injustice 2, like the ranked match and tournament wise, you were only able to use which ones your character came with itself, like the, uh, the default mm, okay so like vanilla character and like no gear shit at all that's one of my big questions when it comes to uh, the actual like game release and as far as competitive play goes because you know i play it a little competitively as well mm -hmm. and, but we're still not sure what's legal and what's not one of my guesses is that it's going to be which the variations that they already came with you know like rocco was hack and slash and, yeah i'm thinking uh, it's more like yeah, I'm thinking it's more like the main variation, like Boon's main splash damage. Yeah, I mean, it sucks, but because I had a lot of fun customizing the variation, you know, adding certain moves to it and just finding out, like, which one worked better for me. Same, man. That, oh, same. That's a cool feature. But, yeah, I guess we'll just have to wait and see for now. But other than that, I, yeah. I really love the, the whole new customizing your, your character thing. For real, me too, man. And everything about this stress test beta, dude, was really, really awesome, especially when they threw in the classic towers the last minute like it was a welcome welcome uh, addition before 
they we bid it farewell, farewell sadly, <laughs> to it. Yeah, I, I had to find that out through Twitter. Everyone was like, oh, did y'all know that the tower was available? I'm like, no, they just threw it on the last day. I like, guess they, they didn't really tell anybody, so you kind of just... <laughs> they just wanted people to... You're lucky if you... <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Man, luckily, luckily you told me, man, because I never knew at all, too, man. So without without you, I would have never found out the Classic Tower. So that would have sucked if I missed out on that, too, and not get the footage for it <laughs> that y'all see right now. <laughs> yeah, and my like I said, my main excitement for that was just to see how different it was from the online play. Because oh, I was yeah. really curious how different it was, but like I said, it played the exact same. Hell yeah, it did, dude. So I think I think this beta test turned out really, really good. I don't know, what do you think? Oh, it turned out perfect. Hell yeah, Everything man. Everything about it. <laughs> and, and left, it left me and Grotesque off wanting more, and we cannot wait for the closed beta coming uh, on the 28th. Um, a lot of times we're saying the 27th, but maybe we're thinking like kind of like late at night. But we'll definitely see, and we'll definitely do some uh, streams and fucking recording sessions too as you know the days get close so hell yeah man so god I'm already having withdrawals from it I, I, I almost started playing it earlier and I just like oh fuck I forgot that <laughs> it's over so, one thing that like I want to talk about also is the, the music and just everything the sound of MK11 just sounds so awesome oh that's true man it sounds so much better than the, the stuff that we got from MKX Man, like that's that's one of the first things I noticed when I was in the menu. I was like, man, this, this soundtrack sounds amazing. It kind of had like a more menacing, dark type of feel to it, which I enjoy. Same thing, and that's what we that's what we loved about the Deadly Alliance games, guys. It the music there felt kind of like dreadful and serious tone, like it was. Yeah, like, it, shit it had a more serious approach to it, kind of like a darker like feel to it. I can't really describe it, but it just. Mm -hmm. The vibe I got, like just from the music and everything, and not just that, but just like the whole feel of the game. It was like a more serious approach to it. Like, Hell yeah, man! Especially like, wow. <laughs> and now that now that we're on the topic of the music, man, I really dig the fatality uh, tracks that they used. <laughs> oh yes, it's, oh that was wait, especially the, the new fatality, fatality song. Yeah, and the brutality one too, dude. It sounds menacing, man. <laughs> yeah, 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 exactly, Ooh. man. <laughs> That really hit us, man. And just the whole, not just the, the, the music, but the lighting, it gets a little dimmer. Just like it always has, but it's just the feel of it now. Yeah, <laughs> just, it has it has that serious soul, man, and that's what we've been looking for. Like, it doesn't sound like action-y and like epic-y, superhero-y like the last one. Like the last game, but like this one. It, you know, it's feeling more like authentic with the title. Yeah, and I, I will say, I, I must say, I also love like how the fatality ends kind of like the slow motion type of deal yeah it's almost like if Kronika is watching and she's slowing down time and freezing it just so she can like take in the beauty of the kill you know that's like, a great way to put it yeah hell it's yeah <laughs> let's see there you go man <laughs> hell yeah man that's exactly how i see it like she like you like she's taking it in and us viewers watching the fatality we're taking in the beauty of like the final moments of that fatality and it's goddamn cool man yeah, dude, it was cool to actually like actually get a feel and play play it and see because you know you saw it with the MK11 reveal and everything. Oh yeah. But like actually getting the feel for it, it was like wow, this is this is gonna be a really crazy game. Exactly, man. And God, it was so good. I, I just wish it didn't end so quick. And I would like to take a moment to thank Netherrealm Studios for letting you know the few of us that did get picked to play, man. Me and Grotesque God. Oh yeah, definitely. Yeah, so if Netherrealms ever gets to see this video somehow, you know what? Thank you guys so much. I appreciate you picking me and Grotesca to, you know, try it out. It was a real pleasure. And we praise it, man. We praise it. The overall, man, this, this stress test was a success. I think it was fun. I wanted more. And I cannot wait for the 20th to come, man. What, so what are your final thoughts, man? What are Shit, your... I still want more, man. <laughs> uh, hell yeah, man. There you go, man. Your final thoughts, impressions. Uh, my final thoughts... MK11 so far is shaping up to be an amazing game and not just a fighting game as a competitive style but just in general it's it's shaping up to be one of the most amazing MK games in in the franchise like I can see just the potential not just in the gameplay but the characters the art the the music everything about the game the online just and I'm pretty sure we're going to get more when the game comes out. They're probably going to add a lot more, not just for competitive players, but the casual players. All of this is 
probably shaping up to be one of the best Mortal Kombat games, and I just, I cannot wait. I really had a blast these last three days with this game. I had so much fun, and it sucks that it had to end, and I'm, oh, it kills me. <laughs> <laughs> me too, but, man, me too. <laughs> <laughs> um, and, you know, just because it's, it's not as casual friendly, and it's a little bit slower paced, which some people don't like, you know, just play the game and get used to it. You know, don't make assumptions already just because it's a lot different. Yeah, it's a little more, I don't want to say difficult, but it takes a little more thinking and timing. Mm -hmm. But, you know, the more you play, I'm pretty sure these guys will get it down. You know, don't let that to ruin the game for you. And and please don't let <laughs> your, your character is not in it ruin it for you either because trust me when I say this, if you weren't able to play this stress test, you're, you're in for something amazing. You're in for a, a big surprise because this game so far is is fantastic. It's phenomenal. Yes. I don't I can't even think of words for it so far. Mm -hmm. I've had I said earlier I haven't had this much fun with an MK game in a long time. And it was just remember guys, this is just this was just a piece. It was just a stress test. It was just a, it was just a Not crumb. even a piece. It was like a crumb. Yeah, yeah <laughs> a crumb from a big nice scrumptious cake that will soon be Three finished. Three characters in two stages and like only the online feature and you didn't get the tower to the last day but still you only play the tower with three characters like <laughs> yeah man and still still nrs are doing a really good job so gosh man yeah you took the words right out of my mouth too man like yeah like <sighs> i can't wait i cannot fucking wait so it was a really good uh stress test um ed boon did say there may be a few more characters being added to the the next close beta so just gonna have to wait and see yeah, and, and make sure y'all pre-order that game if y'all want to play it, you know? <laughs> yes. A lot of people were complaining they didn't get the stress us. Well, hey, if you get a chance to play the beta, make sure you pre-order it. Yeah, and this is, it's actually your legit, like, confirmed, like, you'll get the code and you'll be able to play it. As long as you put down, shit, you did $5, like, just to get the code and you don't even have to get the full game. Just get, uh, put down, uh, 5 bucks, get the, uh, beta code, take it home, and then there, you, you're able to play it. So come on guys. Yeah, and trust me, you don't want to miss the opportunity because this game was a lot of fun and it's a lot different and that's what makes it a lot better. Like NRS, when I say like NRS has something special, they have something special going on here. Like right now, I, I'm just thinking about it, this makes me miss it and I want to cry. <laughs> <laughs> Stay here, man. Hell yeah, guys. All right, all right that concludes uh, our thoughts and impressions. Hopefully for some of you that probably got the code, please tell us in the comments down below what you guys thought about the MK11 stress test online beta and we would love to hear from you guys um this is a very good good game but anyways guys um this was once again grotesque god he has a page on instagram called more Command history give give it a follow say what's up to him and he'll definitely answer any questions or you know i guess give you feedback about the stress test the online was hey guys yeah, right. guys i don't bite so <laughs> come give me a holler <laughs> yeah yeah more Command history all right guys so, all right once again, guys, thank you guys for tuning in. I'm your host, Prowsing, and this is your homie, Potescott. Yep, what's up, guys? <laughs> I'll catch you guys <laughs> on the flip side. <laughs>